by the worst cutters. You didn't have a pair of diagonal cutters or anything, huh? I'm Matthew Davis. I am 23 years old, and I'm a senior graduating with an electrical engineering degree. Um, you want my criminal history? <laughs> I'm joking. When I was a little kid, I really loved anything like remote control. Remote control airplane, remote control car, I loved it. I liked tinkering around with stuff. Once I tried making my own submarine, that didn't work out too well. <laughs> well, I went to uh, Diamond Regional High School. It's a vocational school. I was planning on getting my license as an electrician and doing residential wiring and stuff like that. I did that for about maybe uh, a year, and I didn't really like it. I definitely felt like I could be doing something more with myself. I figured I would just try to give it a shot back to school, try something different. So I went down to uh, BCC and then started off there. I started taking some engineering related classes and then I kind of started liking it and then started picking a direction and I figured since I had the electrical background, electrical engineering just seemed like a, a way to go. There's a lot of kids who are coming out of high school who still don't really know what's out there. Bristol Community College received a grant from the National Science Foundation. It's an advanced technology education program. Early on I began working with the Advanced Technology Manufacturing Center. And the idea is to help prepare our young engineers to go into the working world to become better technicians. And one of the best ways to do that is through internships. We're trying to be that gateway, that connection to industry. Education and business have to come together. That program has to have both those aspects of it in order for it to work effectively. So uh, these are all the different companies that are in uh, the ATMC building. And where I'm going is actually Ocean Server. The internship consists of working with Ocean Server, which it produces AUVs, which are autonomous underwater vehicles. It's pretty much a submarine that can be sent into the water autonomously. All you need to do is load up your mission. So here we just have like a, you know a three waypoint mission here, okay. and at each particular waypoint, you can control the vehicle's behavior and you send it to the water, it'll run its mission and return to its checkpoint. You get a lot of data analysis experience, you're working with other companies. It's a lot different than the classroom. In the classroom you'll learn a lot of theory, but I mean, when you're here you really get hands-on experience and do stuff that can help later on. The experience so far has been great. I have worked with different people, people from other companies, and that helped me because I had the confidence during the several interviews that I had. I dealt with running the AUVs and also collect the data that's off the uh, AUV, which could be side scan sonar data, which is just a, pretty much an image of the bottom. You can get bathymetric data, which can allow you to do the topography of a, a pond or anything like that, so you can know like the depth contours and stuff along those lines. Are we going to talk about when he lost the AUV? Oh, that was not <laughs> me. I was going to ask him that. <laughs> that was not, was We've had a couple incidents <laughs> where it went down and didn't come up for a little while, so it made us nervous. but. It came back to us eventually, and we were able to process the data and go through that and see how it worked, maybe where it had errors and whatnot, and then we figured out that running a mission so close to shore might not have been a good idea. <laughs> but I mean, it was, uh, it, was, it was fun. An internship allows you to have experience working with projects that require a deadline, that require you to have an answer. It's not just open-ended research, and it requires you to have budget constraints, mm -hmm. things that employers are interested that you are sensitive to. And when you drop those things on your resume, when you drop those things in your interview, then you start to realize that you've got a lot more than someone who just went through a classroom experience. I used to work at, uh, <laughs> you guys gonna get a kick out of this, I used to work at Chuck E. Cheese. Worked there for seven years, I just quit last weekend. Now you received a job offer. Yes I did. Where are you going? Uh, Teledyne Benthos up in uh, Falmouth, Massachusetts. They're similar to what we're doing now, so they looked at this experience and kind of like, yeah, it's kind of the direction we're looking, so. And I wanted to become uh, electrical engineer. It definitely sounded like something I wanted to get into, so I just pursued it, and the next thing I knew, I had a full-time position here. And I'm excited because it's, it's a job and something I want to do. It's a success story. <laughs> See, don't give up. <laughs>